Hey, it's Jackie Uthen here. Today's Toronto Tuesday is in an uber cool spot on the Esplanade in the city and heart of Toronto. I'm with Nicholas here. I have the privilege of being at this wonderful, whimsical place that I remember coming to as a kid, as a young adult, and now walking through the doors of the old spaghetti factory, you come back to, you're reminded of the first time you come into this restaurant and you feel like I felt five walking in here today. Um, tell me about this place. Give me a little bit of history on this because if you haven't been in a while, over the holidays, you've got some time off. Bring your crew out here. Come for a date would be a really nice date night. Or mm -hmm. bring the kids, bring the grandkids. Get out here because it really is something special here. So tell me about the history of this place. It's pretty cool. Um, so uh, the building itself was a blacksmith shop. Uh, and then in about uh, 1898, I believe, um, the blacksmith shop went under. And then um, it was transferred in 1971, was bought by, um, I forget the original family, uh, but bought and then turned into the old spaghetti factory. It's uh, it's the second old spaghetti factory ever. The first one's in Portland, Oregon. Uh, so two months afterwards, they kind of liked the concept and decided to change it, which is why it's a wild, big place, all it one is. level, which freaks out a lot of people when they come in. Cause you, you know, right now we seat about 468 in the restaurant, another wow. 100 in the lounge. Wow. Um, so as you said, especially over Christmas, it's a good place for people to come because we can we can call there's room a lot of, there's room yeah a lot of uh, a lot of uh, groups and stuff like that and it's fun we're sitting in an old street car mm -hmm. motor car yeah it's not uh was never used an actual one never yeah, used yeah. but uh it's 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 based on the street cars um of the time so they just did uh, a replica uh, a replica a proper yeah. model and yeah um, I've seen pictures of when uh, when they put it together, which is just which is too cool, just wild. It really is, and, it, and if you've got little kids or if you're young at heart, like I mean, it's fun the moment you walk in mm -hmm. here. Um, just behind us is a carousel, an actual. Um, you can see the beautifully painted horses here. The entire environment here in Ambience, it must really come to life here on the weekends, yes? In mm -hmm. the evenings when it's nice and dark outside and you walk in and it's boisterous here and full of a lot of fun. Yes, it's uh, it's it's always busy at uh, at, sure. at night and on weekends, as you said, which is uh, which is fun. If it's nice or if it's cold outside, it's always nice and warm, warm in the inside. Air. Reservations, can they make them? Yeah, so we do reservations at all times. The only times that we don't is Saturdays between five and seven thirty, and okay. that's that's just so we can accommodate as many walk-ins as possible. Um, and after that, you know, like most restaurants, we we take a, a, a certain amount per every fifteen-minute interval. But you know, there's always kind of wiggle room in a restaurant this big, okay. so we, we accommodate as much as possible. And there's a lounge, so let me understand it. If it's busy here, can they hang out at the lounge Absolutely, and have yeah. a drink until their seats are ready? Yeah, we do full dinner service in there as well. Oh, you do? Uh, which we started doing in the past couple of years. And okay. uh, in the lounge as well, when the Old Spaghetti Factory uh, shuts down at night, um, it becomes its own private entity. That We do live music every night in oh, there as amazing. well. Oh, so. um, amazing. Every night? Every night. Every night, every night okay. of the week. Okay, so as a carbaholic, mm. <laughs> a lover of pasta for me, for sure. There's a vegetarian pasta on here Absolutely. for me. Um, with all all this dieting and fuss and some gluten-free which is really dietary restrictions for celiacs do you guys have a menu that accommodates Absolutely. so we used to have our own uh, separate gluten-free menu okay uh, but um, with our with our kitchen manager we changed enough dishes around that we were able to kind of accommodate even even more wow. so um, on our main menu everything that's gluten-free or vegetarian is marked with a little symbol beside it the new menu that we just started off that we're very excited about is we do have a separate halal menu oh you do um, as okay. well yeah which is which which that's is new great. but a, yeah. a lot of our product we're just trying to make everything kind of as um, as easily accessible to to, a, to a larger audience yeah. yeah, absolutely. And what's your favorite? My favorite thing, oh boy. Um, spaghetti and meatballs? Spaghetti, I like, I like. Sp so we do a manager's favorite, oh. which you can get a <laughs> half, half and half sauce. So I okay. really like spicy and brown butter and mazithra cheese, which is a hard sheep's cheese, which uh, the spaghetti's tossed in a brown butter and then the cheese is kind of oh sprinkled God. on top. It's uh, it's fantastic. We get it imported directly from Greece. Holy and in the, in the summer, we ran out for about four months and I have never heard more complaints in my life. <laughs> So you have it, you have it in stock we now? We have it in stock for Christmas, Okay, great. So come out and order, what's it called again? Uh, brown butter and mazithra cheese. Oh my goodness, that sounds super, super fatty and super amazing for Absolutely. the holidays as we hibernate with the cold weather. So thank you very much for having us here. Um, any other tip for anybody else coming in? Favorite cocktail, can you give me that? Or favorite dessert? Favorite, uh, favorite cocktail, I think uh, our, our bar staff makes a really, really good Bloody Caesar. Uh, okay. Just fantastic. In um, favorite dessert, we do a very, very good uh, salted uh, caramel cake. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. It's very good. 
And if you're thinking of booking a party, this is a place to be. I'm leaving here today, definitely going to put my name in the reservation <laughs> book to bring my kids out here. So if you're looking for something wonderful and traditional with old world flair, but so much charm in our beautiful city, come down to the Old Spaghetti Factory on the Esplanade. We'll post details below. Have a great holiday, everyone. Thanks for watching.